Hey guys, Mike from Norse Pythons here. This episode, I got something amazing to show you guys. So, speaking of that, let's get into it. Alright guys, so we have a new addition to the rack. And this one fills up my breeder rack for my females as I was saving a spot just for a female, basically just like this. So she is a super pastel, fire, double hat, DGTSK. And she's sitting right around 900 grams right now. And she is absolutely stunning snake. So, you might have already guessed it, but she, when she gets bigger and when the male gets a little bit bigger, she's going to be getting paired with our other super pastel double hat TSK. So, they might make some amazing looking babies. And honestly, if I hit a super pastel fire DG Xanthic, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell them. I know if I hit a female, that's all the genes. I'm just going to be blown away. I mean, any female from that, like, look at her. Any female from this clutch definitely going to be a hold back I got her Sunday so basically went to the reptile expo filmed that and then uh well I found her during the week uh these people uh were selling their collection I mean it's always sad when people sell their collection, seeing people get out of the hobby, especially for the reasons that they did. But uh, I remember talking to them, they, like, they assured me that uh, once they get a uh, better stability, they're gonna be right back at it. And I was like, awesome. That's always good to know. You're a little spunky one today, aren't you? But I mean, just look at that head. That head is amazing. But bro. This is the foundation of Norse pythons right here. This clutch. Because, like I said, basically any, if we make any DG Xanthics, it's a super pastel to a super pastel. So, they're all going to be super pastels. And you add, like, just imagine this girl, just DG and Xanthic. Gonna be absolutely stunning. Girl, what are we doing? And then after that, after we hit that, throw some spider into there. Like, uh, I've been looking at Morph Market. Uh, there's a chocolate spider that someone's selling that's Het DG. I mean, that would, that would blow my mind. A bumblebee chocolate, he's anthic spider. Throw some fire in there. Like I said, the basis that I want my collection to be is D DG and he's anthic. And I was speculating that if I did hit a DG Super Pastel Fire DG Xanthic, that uh, whether it be male or female, that I would get a, I'd go buy a, a Hypo Pied. And we'd make some quad hats. DG Xanthic Hypo Pied. Which, if you think about it, that would be an amazing looking animal. Now on the pied part, you know, I really want it. I wouldn't want them all to be pied. 
But I mean, I'd want some to be pied. Some hypo, DG, Xantic, pied. But I wouldn't want them all to be pied because I do have plans for the future to just have a, a few females and one male just dedicated to making Xanthic pieds. But I mean, when uh, I drove a little over four hours to go get this girl, and I got her at an amazing price, especially for uh, what she is and what I've seen on Morph Market especially at her weight. I paid $800 for her. And if you go on Morph Market right now, I think uh, a double hat, I think there's, there's not that many of them because I've been looking, they're around like 1,500. And none of them are nowhere near this, this size. So when I hit them up, because I saw that this was one of the snakes that they were selling. They are like, oh, make an offer. And I was like, damn. Because I didn't want to really lowball them. But then again, I really didn't want to pay 1500 for a snake. So, you know, I hit them. I said, hey, you take 800 And they responded back, yeah, sure, no problem. There was no haggling with the price. And... Yeah, so Saturday, filmed the Reptile Expo. Sunday, I was back to driving again. And I'm just thankful that the weather let up. Because that would have been a pain to drive. It would almost probably make it almost a six hour drive. The weather continued how it used to be. What are we doing? We are exploring, guys. So yeah, I found a girl that's suitable for my Super Pastel Double Head DJ Xanthic. And it's basically just like him, except uh, we added fire into the mix, which I was so happy to find that. And like you said, you know, that when we make, you know, what, pinstripe, chocolate, spider, uh, so I want to know your guys' thought because uh, I've been looking into it. Uh, we got this new gene called Zebra out, but then people are also saying that Zebra is just uh, the super form of uh, Mackenzie. Wondering what you guys thought about that. Because I was looking at that, like, bro, Zebra would look absolutely amazing in a DG Xanthic combo but like what would happen if you added Mackenzie like if Zebra and Mackenzie aren't the same then that would just open the doors though what would a super Mackenzie and a Zebra look like hi baby I know you're a good girl yeah not the face So I'm still up in the air about if what route to go, either Super McKenzie or Zebra, or if it's uh, proven that they're uh, not the same, then, I mean, what would a Zebra Super McKenzie look like? You were very finicky. Uh, like I said, I'd want to add Hypo into our collection. The only thing I wouldn't add is clown. I'm sorry, but from the business, a business standpoint, clown is almost a horrible, horrible project to get in. Especially if you're just starting in and all you're doing is like regular clowns. Because when people say the ball python market is oversaturated, I say it's not. The clown, the clown market, that's oversaturated. I mean, you can go to Morph Market and you can go to, I think it's Traits, and then you can hit the little tab to sort it and you can go through uh, like 
most to least or whatever, highest to lowest, and number one is clown. And to me, I feel like if you're not doing any bangers like Canova or Miguel or pulling out any world's first, clown is just going to be a detriment to you because you have to compete with all these other people that are making clowns. And I mean, I go to, uh, there was, I was actually kind of surprised. This expo that we just went to, I don't think there was that many clowns. I have to go back and check, but I didn't really see any clowns and I was really happy with that. But I bet you, like I said, no video this Thursday cause I'm going to Rexpo and filming that on Saturday. Don't you do it. I know, I'm waving my hand around. But I bet you, if you watch those videos, clown, 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 clown. It happens every time I go to Rexpo, and it's like all I see are clowns. And that's why, I say, like, you gotta look at it through a business standpoint. Like, are you gonna go, like, if you go to a Expo and you're a seller, and you're competing with almost basically everybody there. Can we not try lining up my hand? Yeah, no, you're right. He's walking over here just trying to get it. So yeah, so I'll either go clown and you have to compete with almost everybody. And then good luck trying to sell it on Morph Market because I just don't think clown's a good investment project right now to get into. And you guys can say the same about, oh, you know, neither is a Azanthic because there's like eight, yeah, no, there's seven. There's like seven different Azanthics out there. So you, once you pick one, that's the one you're kind of limited to. I mean, yeah, he kind of got me there in that argument. But, again, I don't really want to knock anybody off from going with their passion, doing what they like. Just do you. Just know that, in my viewpoint, I don't think clown is a very um, good first starter project to get in with. Because uh, you might have a hard time selling babies and uh like where i live i only know of one other breeder one or two other breeder in the uh, new york area that uh deals with uh tsk xanthic i've seen black xanthic i've seen one person with black xanthic but i think they're just a reseller and then a uh, bunch of people with VIP, VPI, not VIP, VPI is Anthic. But is Anthic really not a popular morph up in New York? It seems to be. But yeah, you got the one, yeah, either one or two other people that deal with TSK in New York. And then how I look at it is like, bro. If I go to these uh, shows around me and, you know, I start selling my uh, Azanthic stuff and those people want to get into breeding and they already have TSK Azanthic, well, if they want to stay locally, they only will have two other sources to go to to get snakes if they want to continue with the recessive project. Or they can just go on Morph Market and buy from other people there. But, you know, they'd go to shows and look for breeders to up their projects. And there's only me and these other people that have TSK Xanthic because they either bought from me or the other people. So that's what Xanthic they're using. You kind of start creating your own market how I see it, so, 
I don't know. That's just me going off on a rant, I guess. Sorry. I'm thinking about a million different things right now that I gotta get done because, I mean, I cleaned the grow up in rats, but I didn't clean the breeding rack out in the garage yet because eight hours of driving to get this because it was four hours there, a little over four hours to get there and then four hours back. I mean, I was dead. I remember my young years. I used to be able to do it. I used to drive a lot. Now it's, bro, get me out of this car. I can't do long distances no more. I know, I know, I know. You're such a lovely girl. Like I said, just take another look at this girl. Look at that head. Look at the yellow on her. I really like that too about her. When you get down, like, oh, how are we going to do this? She, she, see how the white comes up a little bit? Especially on the size here, like right there. See it right there again. I absolutely love that. I think this snake is absolutely amazing. I mean, even when uh, when I went to go uh, get her and they pulled her out, I even took a double take. I was like, wow. A whole lot better than what uh, I saw in the pictures. So, that's it, guys. Uh, no video this Thursday again. Uh, it's going to be Saturday. And then after that, uh, I mean, there are a lot of reptile shows coming up. There's either two or three next month. So, yeah, so the reptile shows are starting back up in New York. So, uh, be on the lookout for all those again when I go to a reptile show I'll I'll only do a Tuesday video and I'll let you guys know hey go in here no Thursday video because I I told you guys I'm gonna do two a week I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that promise I'm gonna do two a week and when I don't film Thursday it lets me just uh have a day off so uh because i'm gonna be at the expo all day so then usually i'll go through check up on everyone clean them spot clean them do what i gotta do so not that i'm taking thursday off it's just because i post postpone when i'm gonna post it it's a little bit more time with my animals seeing how they're doing because I'm not going to be with them on Saturday. So that's it, guys. Uh, I know I keep forgetting to say this, but uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I always know YouTube likes it when you say that. So like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the journey. And especially this journey. This journey right here, that's going to be a banger. Absolutely amazing, amazing pair that I have now that is going to be the ultimate foundation to Norse pythons and just can't wait to build on it don't have a name for her honestly I don't have a name for her or yeah I mean I don't my girl names them so but I don't have a name for her so Thing about a name on her, I almost want to call. <laughs> I almost want to call her Whitehead. <laughs> I don't know how that would go over in today's society. Yeah, call her Whitehead. Hey, Whitehead, how's it going? You like that? No. Okay. So if you got a name suggestion, let me know. I right, gotta see you in the next one.